I'd like to call together the City of Franklin Quarry Monitor Committee meeting for November 24th. It is 6.01 p.m. and um, Mr. Martinez, will you take the roll, please? Other woman, Kristen Wilhelm. Here. Member Fred Knuppel. Here. Alderman Mike Bar Fred Knuppel. Here. Alderman Mike Barber. Here. Member John Tenhaken. Here. And Member Dinah Swanson is absent. Okay, we have a quorum. Next item is approval of the minutes for the regular meeting of October 20th. Also uh, I just want to clarify the correction that the minute says November 23rd and we are meeting November 24th. Okay. okay. With that correction. Second. Okay, are there any other discussions or corrections to the minutes? So motion, motion to approve the minutes for the October 28th ARPOOF with the correction as noted. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No opposed, motion carries. Citizen comment period, we have no one in the audience, so we can um, open and close citizen comment period, move on to hearings, we have no hearing. Business item five. Item A, review and discussion on matters pertaining to citizen complaints, blasting Data from Payne and Dolan and Stan Tech, the city's consultant. Just okay. want to update that since the last meeting we have received two complaints, uh, one November, f uh, official complaints. Uh, one, so we check the data and it's in compliance with the PDD limits. Were those blasting or? For blasting, yeah. Okay. And then what's the cutoff period on those complaint dates from when to when? Oh, November 1st and November 8th. Okay, and does that include the one about the road? Eight. Okay, and does that include the one about the road? Just on the that's separate, yeah, because that's for, for DOS. Uh, just talking about the uh, complaints uh, associated with blast. Blasting, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you know <clears throat> which area the complaints came from? Um, I have the, yeah, mostly south. Mm -hmm. So we have um, BA2. So for the packet, we have um, air blast. So for the packet, we have um, air blast, we have Vibratech, we have a bunch of letters in red. Yes, that's the, the maximum for each uh, event. Maximum reading, the maximum reading for, for each event is highlighted in red. What do you mean by the, that's what it reached or what's, what do you mean by the So matter? for example, for, for the November 8th, so there are the four monitors, so the monitor that registered the maximum uh, PPB, 0.163, and that is a red. You mean the highest, not the maximum? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's not signifying it was out of the norm. No, no, okay. no, no, no. It's just the highest reading from those mm -hmm. machines. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to clarify that. Um, I think that way we can tell about the location. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay, well, um, nothing, nothing exceeded the uh, 123 dB? No. Yeah. Well, for the air overblast, no. Okay. And then... For the blasting, it's um, yes, yeah, zero point three, yeah, zero point three, yeah, yeah, and so all those are within. So I guess are there any comments about that report? Just um, I don't know if it come up here or not. Um, I'm starting out the notifications. I haven't been receiving any notifications lately about the blasting. I noted that as well with someone on the phone on my way here, that I hadn't been getting them. Uh, I will let I I will need to let Clean know. Something he, yeah. I I did call him on it. He said they are sending. I will let I I will need to let Clean know. Something he yeah. I I did call him on it. He said they are sending them out, but they're not. Something there's a glitch in there somewhere if he's sending them out because. I had the people that complained about the blast, was it the 12th, I think? I don't know. 
but they are also complaining the fact that there was or pre-notification on it, and I, I know I haven't been receiving it. So. Not that, I mean, that's a voluntary thing, but I think the people, are the, you know, the citizens near the quarry are expecting to get that, so. Right. Right. Okay, so you'll follow up on yeah, that? Yeah, I would like to know. Okay. And Alvin Barber, if you would like to just, you know, obviously follow up with him directly. Sure. Or, because of the quorum meeting issues. So. Sure. And we're not meeting next month, so you might want an answer before then. I'll call. Okay. I'm not afraid to call regularly. <laughs> and then um, status update on the quarry monitoring services scope of work item B. Yeah, so last meeting we, uh, Stantec um, and the committee discussed about relocating the monitors mm -hmm. so um, before your this before the meeting so it's the proposal for instance so they are recommending two options uh, I will use the, the map here okay so as you can see the option for the northern portion of the quarry so these uh, pink dots at the recorded blast uh, according to the third quarter report. So for the north, northern portion is to relocate the static monitor from point A to point B. Static monitor from point A to point B. Um, they did some analysis of the data, data and they recommend that that is the best location for uh, the northern portion of the quarry. And for the southern portion of the quarry, uh, they recommend to uh, the monitor that is located at point B, D to point C, where the other uh, paint and dollar monitor is located. And for option two, uh, for the northern portion, it's basically the same from A to B. And for the southern portion, the southern portion is to uh, keep this monitor here because most of the complaints that the planning department receive is from this neighborhood. So th these are the two options. Uh, both of these options are within the budget, uh, so there's will not that there's will not that there will not be any increase on, in the cost because they will use the the exceptional blast report. Uh, item that was not used, mm -hmm. they were used for, to relocate the monitors. Okay. Do you, do you know, I, I know I've got one there and one there, so um, do you know if requests to the council regarding switching that money? Well, uh, because the, the last motion was to recommend uh, the escort of work to the council mm -hmm. with the thought of relocating the monitor, so Okay, uh, so it's at this meeting, just make the okay. Uh, so at this meeting, just make the decision about option one or option two. Okay. Commissioner Knippel, the uh, monitor that's on Allwood Drive usually doesn't have a lot of reporting. There's a lot of non-events that go through that monitor, through that monitor, but people that live in that area are used to knowing that there's a monitor there. So I think even though it's not real effective for it, because every time I go down Allwood, I look. Every time I go down 51st Street, I look, check yeah. and see. Yeah, so in that case, option two is to keep that monitor yeah. at, right there at the uh, Allwood. Alan Barber, you had a comment? You had a comment? You were, you were first, weren't you? No, go ahead. Oh. Um, most of the complaints, you say, are from the south. Right, yeah. And I see... Yeah. At least keeping it on 51st is some assurance that, that if something major happened... And that's why those peop the people from the south that are doing the... Com the, where the complaints are coming from, I, I don't see where that helps them in any way to move it over to the other side of 51st over there. 
I don't see that. Yeah, that that's what I'd like to before I, I recommended moving them. I'd like to hear justify the justification from Stantec about why they would make that move. I mean, we don't have to do that today as far as a motion, but if their their rep were here to explain what their rationale was, it might make sense. But just motion. But if their their rep were here to explain what their rationale was, it might make sense. But just intuitively. The, the blasts are from the south, and you're taking away the monitor that is there. Or the complaints. Right, it sounds like right. you and Commissioner Knippel are on the same page, and I, I'm on. If we go to our V1A sheet that's in our packet, we can kind of see where mm -hmm. they're blasting, and it says all what on there often. So that even more confirms that we should read the all wood. Um, the other one, if you were to, cal were to calculate between the 50, 75, 26 and the 01 address is, uh, I don't know, I, without counting them, it looks like it's almost a toss-up between. So if we move the 01, we sort of lose, you know, that um, tracking of that area. I don't know. I I don't really know as if we need to move them or want to move. I don't know if it's going to make as if we need to move them or want to move. I don't know if it's going to make any big difference anyway. It might be just spending money that doesn't do us any good. Commissioner Kibler, did you have a comment? I just wonder with the new subdivision that's going in on 51st Street mm -hmm. if it might not be wise to see if we can get it. Uh, feel for what the vibration will be in that area because that's between the monitors on 51st Street to the south and then the one farther to the north and it's closer to the wall the uh, uh, eastern and northern wall of the quarry I don't know if that's feasible at all but you know it might be to try and get ahead of it I know at one time they had portable seismic monitors. Th maybe before. HV is really close to where that new subdivision is going. And mm -hmm. right. I don't think you right. want it right there from a construction going on. Well, I'm just trying to get a handle on what might happen as far as complaints coming from that area. Well, is B only. What might happen? as far as complaints coming from that area. Well, is B only painted Dolan's right now? Correct, yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, so we are getting monitoring from B. Right. And I guess I have to agree with your comment about construction. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm personally thinking just leave it the way that it is. But leave it as it is. Yeah, but what, how do the rest of you feel? I think option one, which is moving it away from Hallwood, is off the table. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that doesn't right. make sense. So then that brings us to when you compare how many times they've blasted up in A, then we would completely lose that. At least we have we have A, and then we have B, which is theirs, which is you know. Otherwise, if we move their ours down to B, there's two of them in the same spot. Yep. Isn't that what you're saying? Well, no, no, because uh, SIC only have uh, one at A and the other one at B. So what they are proposing is just move it from A to B. Right, and B is where they already have one, so we're actually losing Pain and Dollar. Yeah. Right. Pain and so Dollar has one at A too. Right. right, correct. Okay. So, okay. yeah, Pain and Dollar have the four locations. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, they have one on the 51st Street yeah. just past uh, the sisters apartment complex or just in that area. Yeah, that must be where C is. Well, it's on the west side of 51st. It's in that, uh, there used to be a couple of houses there, they tore them down, and there's just a fence row, and you, and there's just a fence row, and you can see the solar collector mm. right there. Well, so what do we want to do? Leave it? Change it? Alderman Barber, how do you feel? I'm 
still reading it. How do you feel? I'm still reading it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of like the option number two, moving it from A to B, okay. partially because of new subdivision, and then it's also fairly close to the northern blasting area, a little bit more active on the Payne and Dolan sensors. I think my choice would be option two also. My concern was just losing, but you're saying there there still is a pain and dole one at A, so we wouldn't completely lose that yeah. monitor. That's okay with me too. I Do we let the citizens know? Send out an email to them, say we're gonna move the monitor. I don't know how, how do you define letting the citizens know. Maybe the people that have complained. If we have a record of their addresses or emails, There's still going to be a monitor at all locations. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to create an issue with, you know, create an issue with, you know, if, if mm -hmm. there's still going to, yeah, still going to be one there. I don't know. Uh, because most of the complaints come from the south, and we're keeping 51st there. I, I'm thinking that that might be opening a can of worms that. We don't have to. Okay. Uh, because we are trying. To, we don't have to. Okay. Uh, because we are trying to get better monitoring with that. So we uh, could, in a future city newsletter, we could put a map in and let people know where the monitors that, that are. That would work. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I moved that we go with option two. And um, do you want to add, um, like? With notice in the, in the future city newsletter, do you want to add that, or do you want to make that separate? Or I I can add that phrase. Yeah. Well, oh, so what what is the addition? Um, in that the spring newsletter, we can let people know. Oh, the newsletter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they relocated for better monitoring. Okay. Yeah, and try to build it up that way. Okay, sounds good. So we have first our second. Our consultants have recommended it to get better information. Based on based on standard consulting, yeah. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed. So the motion carries to do option two. Okay. And then you will send that um, to the council for. Yes. At now the with next. the with the option two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stand. Yes. At now the with next. the with the option two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stands update on Franklin Agrogas Reclamation Plan is C. Yeah, just wanted to let you know that it was uh, approved and adopted on November 2nd. So with a condition that it, uh, every five years uh, needs a staff to go to, to this committee. How does that get tracked by your department as a five-year year? I mean, who, who puts that on their calendar and how does it stay current? Well, I, I, I don't know if I will be here, but I, uh, you better be. Here. It's almost five years from now. Come on, it's almost five years from now. Come on. <laughs> but that, the, that, that's the, the ordinance. The yeah. Did you bring the shackle? Yeah, yeah. the ball and chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, any new staff will be notified. That, that needs to occur every five years. Okay. All right. Well, maybe that can be moved, and the reclamation plan was adopted, and it's every five years. The citizens' responsibility to keep. Up. No, who, who has been designated to do that review? Uh, we as a. It's been the plan, mm -hmm. planning staff. City staff. Yeah. Yeah. City staff yeah. is mm -hmm. going to rec. Okay, so it's not anything that we. I mean, it's five years from now. Who knows? We can present it to you. And yeah. For information. Okay. Yeah. And a lot might change in five years, and maybe the mm -hmm. committee will be here or not be here, and then maybe. There will be some new technology and worth having the committee make a recommendation to the council. Who knows? We make a recommendation to the council. Who knows? The only problem is, like this last time, we missed in our planning process the fact that the state had updated some stuff and we didn't. We weren't able to build it in because we passed what we had. But the 
fact that well, the rules are unchanged. But the fact that well, the rules are unchanged. Well, that's unfortunate because yeah. I had asked. I know. I had asked staff and this committee to I review could. the state changes. But so that would be a good time. How did they get missed? <laughs> I guess that's a question yeah. for how did it get missed if I had asked this committee and I asked staff and of it. It, it didn't get missed. I just think it would be a good time to update it with any other thing that happens in between here. <laughs> you know, I didn't say it was missed. It was, he actually did. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll retract that. Okay. I'll say that it, it, it wasn't part of this review process. Okay. But in the future, we could, we could it, bring that back. It could have been part of this review process. And when I brought it up, I got no support from the committee that we didn't want to look at the DNR's process because I did bring it up. I was concerned about that. Because the, the municipal code has a section for, for the uh, reclamation plan, the, uh, NR 135 from the state. Mm -hmm. So it's basically mimic the state regulation. The well, you know, my concern has always been getting a plan that actually is decent for the community and um, is decent for the community. I didn't really see that happen with uh, some of the, you know, PDD sections that are in here that, you know, the committee doesn't have a whole lot of ability to do much, so. You have every five years, we'll have maybe possibly another 10 wax at this stick here. I think we're, we're pretty well covered to start incorporating whatever changes do come down the road. Yes. You're gonna have enough opportunity with the, sure. the, the wicket with the wicket and, and uh, sure. the, the wicket with the wicket and, and you might not be here when that comes up and I might not either but what has been in the past has been oh well now that we pass it now Bean and Dolan also has to agree to it and if they don't agree to it then we can't do anything how many times have we heard that that mm -hmm you know, is a concern of not getting things in there up front. Commissioner Kniffel. I think as a good practice for this committee that we make a cover sheet to put on top of the reclamation plan that it was approved by the plan commission to be reviewed in five years. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Okay. Yeah. Because it doesn't have to be anything other than the date that it was approved and right. Mm -hmm. So will 2026 you or 2027? It'll be May or Barber by then. <laughs> You'll be mm -hmm. putting that document online then since it's part of the Corey documents and then you could... Yeah, we, we kind of load it. And then yeah. it'll have the date with the mm -hmm. re review. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll, that'll look great. Okay. Okay. Well, good. I don't think we have anything else. Um, next meeting date. Look great. Okay. Okay. Well, good. I don't think we have anything else. Um, next meeting date is uh, not till January. Which we're going to take December off. And um, we're going to have a meeting here. Let's see. We talked about January. Maybe we'd have the year end data to review at that point, and hopefully the, yes. the scheduling mm -hmm. of that would coincide with their mm -hmm. ability to give us that data? For the By the end of the month. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, you know, we kind of, seems to work out better when we have our meetings on Wednesdays, because when we try to have them on Thursdays, he has a couple days out of the month that he can't make because plan commission. So. Right. Well, yeah, the only thing that I have um, of Sony and Building Appeals, that the third Wednesday. Okay. So you have something on the 19th of January? Correct, right? yeah. Okay. And the very probable plan commission will be the 6th and the 20th? Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Till the month, so you have stand tax as much time as possible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will be the 27th. Wednesday? I really don't like doing it the last time of the month. I really oh. don't. Is there any way we can not be at the last week of the month? Because I have 
I have a library board meeting in there and messes up the entire rest of the week until Some, for sometimes I can I possibly can conflict with Wednesdays for economic development and personnel. Mm -hmm. Depending on what they schedule. Well, the way it's set up now, it leaves me zero opportunities to do anything but be zero opportunities to do anything but be in the city because I have something every single week. Well, most people have something twice a week or something which leaves them that little bit and this never leaves me the opportunity to do it. So. Um, Except I could, I could handle the meeting. Yes. Except it always forces me to be in that predicament. Um, what about the um, if we did like this this the second week, which is in between those two? Yeah, well, I don't know. But if, yeah, if, the, if that is the case, probably a stand that will they will not have the data. For no, the, we we for wanted the this for the year end, so that's that's why we're looking at the so end. Are we good with the 26th of January? That, I, that right, Fine. it's two oh, months away from now, so yeah. I can say yes right now. Um, but you said sometimes you have a conflict on Wednesdays. I, I'd go with that. There was, we're planning a meeting two months out, and, and they're in a one-month cycle, so right. That, right. that's the problem. Well, what about if we did it on the 20, if we started moving it to the last Tuesday of the month and did it on the 25th. Oh, I couldn't handle that because I don't How's have Tuesdays. How's everybody feel? Oh, I couldn't handle that because I don't How's have Tuesdays. How's everybody feel about last Tuesday of the month? I'm fine with that. I don't have any, the only thing I have on Tuesday is council. Yeah. Right, and if we do it the last Tuesday, we should be not running into the council. Right. Okay. Let's try to stick with that. And so... January 25th. Okay. 20, what? 25th. 25th, yeah. Because the 26th was Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. Second. Okay.